Hey there, welcome to the 28th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. We continue to look at custom functions by looking at value returning functions in JavaScript. As I said in my last tutorial, returning information from a function is purely optional. You don't have to do it, but sometimes it's necessary. Return information is often used as values for variables. So let's do a quick demo. Uh, on the screen in front of you, we have two variables which I've declared already, uh, same as my last tutorial, and let's declare our function here. Let's define it here. So we'll do function. This time we'll call it total. Uh, a little bit different. And we'll pass in two parameters again. This time we'll call it a and b instead of x and y. Again, this is uh, placeholders for what information is being passed on. And all we're going to do is return the formula. So we'll do return a plus a times b. Last time we had, you know, our variable called calculated. We defined it, we assigned it, we multiplied, and then sent it back. Uh, we didn't send it back. We console logged it. Uh, here, all we're doing is doing this, uh, doing this calculation, and then returning whatever the value is here. That's all. That's the function. So let's see how it works. So we'll do, let's do console log right away. We'll do console log. So the total, we're invoking the function to loan and interest because we're passing in our little variables. So let's open the JavaScript console, clear my console from whatever I did in the past, update and run, there we go, 105. Same as before, right? Uh, as I said in the last tutorial, you don't always have to pass in variables, you can pass in direct values because the arguments don't really matter. The parameters don't really matter, they are just placeholders. So we'll do 200 and then we'll pass in 3%. So let's do one more, console log, total, 500 and then 0, 10%, percent we will just say it's expensive. Clear my console, update, and run, and there we go, 105, 206, and 550. Feel free to do the math uh, if you need to double check me. I also mentioned that sometimes uh, return information is used as values for variables, so let's just say we'll do uh, declare a variable called old old equals to total and then we'll pass in loan and interest again and this time let's display it onto our screen right here uh, to our HTML to get element by ID total in a text equals to old update run we have our console logs from these three lines, and here we have 105, exactly what we needed. Of course, if you want to make your uh, function look a little bit more complicated, you could do something like we did last time. We can do var calculated equals to, uh, instead of returning, instead of uh, just ending right there, we will do return, whoops, return calculated instead. And I can guarantee you that it will be the exact same thing. So 105, 206, 550, and in our HTML we have 105. So that's all there is to value returning functions. Uh, I hope this was uh, an easy tutorial. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. So practice, practice, practice. You'll get really good at this. Uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial where I will be covering self-invoking functions. Uh, they're easier than it sounds. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net. Have a good one.